I know, I know, the video is late and it's kind of short. I know, I'm sorry, okay? See, see what happened was a, a dinosaur, right? It came, it took my computer, and then I was chasing it, right? But then a dragon came and it took it from the dinosaur, right? But I just, I couldn't cast a dragon because, you know, I can't fly, you know? So, like, uh, that's what happened. The the dragon had my computer and I, and I just got it back, so, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, I created a Roblox group, so you can join that and join a Discord because it's dead. So yeah, you need the Discord to be alive and not dead. So join that and uh, yeah. For the month, I was working with player input, which I haven't worked with before. So uh, but I haven't worked with binding keys and doing all that stuff before. So I went to YouTube and watched some tutorials about it, and I got a pretty a pretty good understanding about it. And I went to uh, the Roblox page and read about it some more, so that way I can have a general idea of what to use, which is contact action service. So after that, I started working on the player's movement, and went over to Mixamo to get a reference of some animations, and then started animating in the studio. After animating, I created a basic script that just detects the player input on both console and computer. So that way, whenever the, the whenever the script detects the key or button is pressed and it should play the animation, I just create it. Everything seems to be working fine for the gamepad and the keyboard. So now we just have to make better animations, and then we can continue with the movement script. Uh, that's pretty much all I worked on for today. Is just a little bit of the player input. But before I hit the start. I want to make a new model for my phone, a new phone model for my phone system. Sorry folks.